While we are less than a month away from Election Day and the pressure is on for both campaigns to find strategies that can get voters to the polls and win over any remaining undecided voters. Fox's Kevin Uretsky reports on how Trump and Harris are working to get that done. Former President Trump this weekend making a triumphant return to Butler, Pennsylvania, the site of the first attempt on his life, striking a tone of defiance while looking forward to the work ahead. If we win Pennsylvania, we will win the whole thing. The whole thing will be won. Sunday, he jumped straight to another battleground state, rallying in rural Wisconsin. And we're going to defeat Kamala Harris. And we are going to make America great again. We're going to do it. As Trump zips around the country, some Democrats are concerned about Vice President Harris's relatively light campaign schedule in comparison. Saturday, she traveled to North Carolina to oversee relief efforts and thank the first responders leading the charge. I came out to talk with the folks who have been doing uh, God's work on the ground here, bringing relief, support, and help to the people who are most in need and desperate for help. Despite a two to three point lead in national polling, Harris remains vulnerable in key swing states. In an interview with Politico, some Democratic strategists describe her strategy as too risk averse and believe she could benefit from more exposure through town halls and unscripted interactions with voters. Harris did sit down for another primetime interview set to air Monday night, speaking with 60 minutes about efforts to reach a ceasefire in the Middle East. We're not going to stop in terms of putting that pressure wait, wait. on Israel and, and in the region, including Arab leaders. Harris's campaign says her travel will ramp up this month as we head into the final weeks before Election Day. Kevin Uretsky, Fox News.